Hi Joe, in this video we take a look at the Norton Bootable Recovery Tool. You can use this uh, program if your PC becomes very infected uh, and you need to actually uh, boot to a bootable environment to actually remove a lot of malware so you can actually boot the system up. Now this works in a similar way to uh, Kaspersky uh, uh, Bootable Rescue CD and uh, some of the others that you have uh, probably seen me make videos on. The problem with this one is you do need a, a registry key or pin key to actually use the product. Uh, so I've already downloaded mine and I'm going to have a little show you how to make an ISO image so you can burn it on a CD. So basically what we need to do is click on run here. And it's a bit it's a bit of a hefty download. It's about 160 megs I think to download, something in the region of that. You'll probably see this once it starts downloading. So I'd advise you, if you have got infections, it's best to have this already downloaded. And as you can see, 165 uh, megabytes. So if you're infected and you haven't done this yet, then it's not going to be much easier. So it's always best to have the CD already uh, pre-made. So I'll let this download. Okay, so that's the uh, download nearly complete there. Once that's downloaded. we can then start to create our ISO image so we can burn that onto the CD. So we just have to agree to the license agreement here. It's now installing. And I really do think uh, Norton have done a good job on this uh, piece of software. I've used it a number of times and uh, it does uh, remove malware uh, it's not meant to be replacing any of the other software like Malwarebytes and stuff like that. You can use it in conjunction with that software. What I tend to use this sort of bootable recovery tools for is if the system doesn't boot and it can actually free up a lot of the uh, nasties from the boot so you can actually get to the desktop. So here we have the actual options now and we can create an ISO file by clicking on this or you can create a USB key OK, now you can update the uh, USB key definitions by clicking on this one. But we're going to be doing the ISO image here. So what I'm going to do is click on that and we can select the location. It's already selected a location on the C drive by default, which will do me fine. So I'm just going to go next. And this will allow to update it and then also download the updates and then actually create the ISO image later on down the uh, order there, as you can see. So in my next video what I plan on doing is I will plan on infecting a machine and then giving this Norton a run for its money and see how it fares, uh, removing malware. And then uh, I don't expect it to remove every type of malware from the system but it should help lighten the load a little bit so we can then get to the desktop and then run some other software. So look out for that in my next video. So I'll let this uh, continually build the ISO image and then we'll move on to the next stage. Okay, so that's all now complete. Uh, what we'll do now is uh, use this ISO image to burn this ISO image to a CD. Uh, I'll boot this image up just so you can see what it looks like. It's a pretty straightforward user interface, just have to boot to that. Um, but I'll boot that up so you can have a little look at that now. I'll just get that ready. Okay, so I've changed my boot order to boot to CD and uh, I'll just push enter on the keyboard to boot to the Norton uh, bootable recovery tool. It takes a bit of time to load up but once it's loaded up it's pretty stable. Now you will be prompted for a pin key or a product key before you can actually boot to the desktop of the software well, not the desktop, but the actual scanning part. Uh, 
Okay, so there we have the uh, pin that you're going to have to enter in. Okay, so you're going to need to have a license. So I shall enter the key in now. Okay, so I'm just going to agree to that. And this is where we get to this stage here. And what we need to do is click on Start Scan. Okay, so you can actually reverse the actions. This is what I like about this tool. You can actually reverse the actions uh, from a scan. So, for instance, if you did a scan and uh, you wanted to undo that, you can actually undo it in this piece of software, which I thought was pretty handy. So, what I'm going to do now is click on Scan, and that will be it. It will start the scan off. And it's updating uh, protection definitions as you can see. And once it's done that, it will just run the scan on the system, and then it will just list all the infections down here. And that's about that. So as you can see that's now scanning, uh, it's done the updating and it will take some time but the infections that we'll find will be listed below and uh, it will just remove those infections. Um, but just remember it probably won't remove every single infection but um, the whole idea of it is to get you straight back onto your desktop. Just imagine that the PC is not booting, um, it will allow you to remove those nasty ones so you can actually get to the desktop. Now I've used this software a number of times and it is pretty good um, so I'm pretty chuffed with uh, Norton, they've actually upped their game a little bit so I hope you enjoy these videos, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember show your support, hit the subscribe button and if you haven't joined the uh, forums yet then the link is down below join the forums and uh, if you've got any problems post them up on the forum and I'll do my best to help you okay now maybe in the next video what I'll try and do is uh, put some infections on there and see uh, how this fares and show you how it works but basically it's pretty much uh, straightforward okay then so my name is Brian bye for now